Hi, it's Ken from Breathe Better Salt Rooms. Today I'm going to talk about bronchiolitis. Uh, bronchiolitis is considerably different from bronchitis. Bronchitis occurs in the primary bronchi and also the secondary bronchi which connects the actual primary bronchi to the two, two lobes of the airways. Bronchiolitis occurs where at the much smaller level and all over the lungs right directly at the site of the air sacs, uh, at the bronchioles actually. The bronchioles are the tiny small tubes that connect to the air sacs. Now what happens with bronchiolitis, it blocks off. Um, through inflammation and congestion, it blocks off uh, air, from, air supply from getting into the air sacs, uh, which as you can imagine is quite detrimental. It's quite debilitating. You get babies getting recording oxygen levels uh, well below 90, some as low as 80, 82. Uh, which is quite uh, life-threatening. Uh, bronchiolitis is typically caused by a viral infection and occurs mainly in babies up to the age of two years of age. Now, I'm a firm believer that salt therapy is fundamentally the only way of effectively dealing with bronchiolitis. Because what happens, as you all know, salt, the smaller the particles of salt that you breathe in, it gets further down the airways, past the primary bronchi, past the secondary bronchi, and into the bronchioles where the air sacs are, and where salt will actually break up that congestion in there that's blocking the air supply, and draw out that inflammation. And eventually all that congestion will come up. The baby's being, the, their development age, up to the two years of age, well they can't cough and spit. They'll actually simply, it'll be brought up naturally, and they'll swallow it. So the result is they'll get a gluggy nappy. Um, from their number twos. Now, more importantly, it'll open up the airways uh, at, the, at the bronchial level and open up and allow airflow directly into the air sacs, which allows for oxygen conversion into the bloodstream. All right, so uh, salt therapy, I feel is, as I said before, is the most effective way of dealing with bronchiolitis. In hospitals, uh, they typically hook up a, a baby to a, uh, a tube up the nose uh, it's, it's oxygen levels get saturated, so the remaining um, air sacs, which are reasonably unaffected by the bronchiolitis, can be saturated with oxygen and therefore increase their oxygen levels above 91, 92 and so forth um, to take them out of um, danger. That is effective, but only in that short time because the, the inflammation and congestion still exists because the infection still exists. Um, so, as I said before, bronchiolitis can be managed very effectively through salt therapy. Uh, now, I recommend um, at least three times a week over the course of the next couple of months for babies uh, to do salt therapy uh, to be effective, uh, to constantly get salt in there to draw out that inflammation and break up all that congestion. All right. That's it for today. I hope that was helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye.